Hey guys, it's Marty and I'm back. I had a, a vacation recently where I went to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Door County in Wisconsin and toured around, traveled, did a lot of sketching and then I had a family matter out of town that I had to recently attend so I've been away from uh, the channel for about two weeks and I've missed it but I'm back today and we're gonna take a look at these Faber-Castell watercolor crayons mostly marketed for children three years old and up but I always love to take a look at Faber-Castell's art supplies because of the investment they make in quality and they're just uh, got an outstanding uh, history and record uh, as far as I'm concerned of just really outstanding products now this particular set comes with a brush it's not a very expensive brush um, I'm guessing and they don't specify this but I'm guessing that that is a uh, synthetic hair brush but it's very nice and it comes with 15 different watercolor crayons and these are great for kids who want to explore uh, different media uh, so they're probably used to using crayons or Crayolas and these are great because they can just add a little water and they can create uh, beautiful watercolor effects uh, with these crayons. So I'll use a watercolor pen today by Pentel and we'll do some swatching and I'll demonstrate um, a little bit uh, of drawing and painting with these as well. All right, so today uh, to test these crayons out, I'll use the Super Deluxe Sketchbook by B Paper. I know I use Canson a lot and that's kind of my go-to sketchbook, but I also really love the the B Paper, the Super Deluxe sketchbook. It's made in America and it's really nice. Well, here is uh, here I'm just laying down the color raw, and it, these are really smooth and they're a little bit like Crayolas, only I'd say softer and smoother to apply. And then when you add water to these, the color just pops out. So you can imagine uh, what kids or anybody really sketchers artists could do with these now faber castell makes no claim as to the light fastness of these colors again they're marketed to children and i always kind of strikes strikes me as curious why more art companies don't consider doing what faber castell does and that's producing really quality art supplies uh, really good quality art supplies for kids and because i think you know imagine you had something that Rembrandt did when he was a kid because it lasted a while or it was done with high quality uh, paints or products and so that's kind of I think we're missing something in there um, from the from the art companies but here I'm just mixing some color and they do really well there and uh, you know so no problem in the painting or mixing and now I just want to add some uh, a little drawing here to the mix and say uh, you know check that out with these but um, just back to kids being able to draw with these and have good quality art supplies to create. I mean, I think the better supplies you can get for kids, the more it lets their imagine, imaginations run wild and free. And, and that's good for kids because it's a de-stressor. Just like adults need art therapy, I think kids need that too. And I think this is a really good, uh, good idea that Faber-Castell has to market really good quality art supplies to kids. Um, and I wish more companies would pick up on that. Hey, just about the crayons for a second. They are tri-shaped. Uh, they're shaped like a little triangle, and they're really easy to hold on to. So if you have little fingers, you're a little kid, it's easy to grip them, and that's I like that. That was really nice, uh, nice ergonomic feel to the crayons. And I'll show you in a minute later, but you can unwrap the paper from the crayon really nice. And the color is also printed on the crayon, although the paper will be gone eventually, but by then you should have a good handle on what colors you're, you're using. Now a moment ago, and right here you can see, I can just take paint directly from the crayon itself, so I don't have to apply the crayon to paper. I can just dip the um, paintbrush in, on, in water and put it on the crayon and take the uh, color up that way if I want. Just like this. I'll just give you a little bit of a better demonstration. Now the first time through, um, you know, I was a little light on the color, and so I decided to give that another try, and then draw some color on the paper to kind of illustrate and highlight how that, how the difference is there. Mainly though, I'm putting these swatches on this paper here so that I can do some transparency testing. Like that yellow over that blue, just to see how good the transparency is. 
a little purple color here, which is very nice. And you kind of let that dry. Now here I really rub the yellow on the paper and you can see how thick and vibrant. It's almost like a, a little encaustic effect if you know about encaustic waxes. But uh, you can really get a vibrant, um, nice uh, color if you're willing to lay the uh, crayon down really thick there. So here just painting over the color, you can see pretty good transparency and you can get some colors coming through like there's a purple there or a slight violet tint uh, underneath the transparency and I'll add a little yellow over this blue here and you'll get you'll see it'll be more evident with, with the uh, the transparency of the yellow over the blue right there and when that dries you'll see the blue come through and it's kind of gonna form a green so yep so I promised to show how you can unwrap this there's some perf perforated uh, paper the all this wrapping is perforated with little sections you can just unwind right off the crayon. So if you wear down the, the crayon a little bit, you just unwrap the paper and you're in business. And it's pretty nice. It's pretty easy to do too. I think a kid could, could do this pretty easy. You just grab the end and you peel it back and it comes right off just like that. And it comes off in little sections. Now, I think I ripped off a couple of sections there, but and I'll demonstrate with a blue one too. It's a little bit easier maybe to see. But yeah, just peel it right off. It's got these little tabs there and the perforated paper and zoom, you're in business. So I think little hands or kids could, could do that no problem. But overall, I liked using these and uh, I swatched them out a couple of times. And um, again, they don't have light fast ratings for these. So who knows how long the color will last. But overall, I think these are pretty uh, excellent kids art supplies and even for somebody who just wants to go sketching or an artist who just wants to play around. Um, you know, here's my ratings in different areas here. I did not, again, rate the light fastness. I'll, maybe I'll test these later on, but um, I don't expect them to be super light fast because, again, I think that's sort of uh, an afterthought when it comes to kids' art supplies. Although I think maybe we should expect a little bit more for kids. Um, and so my final rating for these is a nice solid 7. I think this is a good product, 7 out of 10, which is, you know, above average definitely, and I can recommend them for kids. They're non-toxic, safe to use, and yeah, have fun. Now it's time for a little shout-out. I uh, recently, uh, a friend, uh, a subscriber, sent me a note saying, hey, go check out the Art Supply Posse podcast. There's these two gals that do this great podcast, and they gave you a shout out, uh, and you should go listen to it. So I went over and listened to the first few episodes. They had already posted the first few, and now I'm addicted. I, I listen to them every time they post an episode. And the two ladies that do this podcast are Heather Rivard and Anna Reinhardt. And it's kind of like an episode of NPR, uh, you know, like just an interesting dialogue and dynamic between the two of them and they're very mellow and um, you know complimentary of most everything they talk about but I liked it I enjoyed it and uh, now I listen all the time and I've got it set to download automatically so um, it's now among my podcasting favorites so go give it a listen and tell those guys I sent you over there and um, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the channel please don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment I always love to hear from you guys and don't forget to share the video. Well, so long for now, guys. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs> That's crazy.